Children, let's have a look at this picture. This is Mrinal's house. This is Emma's house and this is Om's house. This is a park and this is a school. Madam, I see a well near Emma's house. Right, Arun. We can see a well near Emma's house. What does it mean? It means that Emma's house and the well are close to each other and the distance between them is less. Julie, what is far away from Emma's house? The school is far away from Emma's house, teacher. That's right. What does it mean? It means that the distance between Emma's house and the school is more. Wonderful! When we say that two places are nearby or far away from each other, we are talking about the distance between the places. Centimeter, meter, kilometer, etc. are the units used to measure distance. Centimeter and meter are used to measure very short distances. Kilometer is used to measure long distances. For example, centimeter can be used to measure the distance between you and your neighbour sitting next to you. Meter can be used to measure the distance between our classroom and the school gate. Kilometer can be used to measure the distance between two villages. Now let us try to understand the concept of location. Arun, where do you live? Teacher, I live in Pune. How can one reach your house? It is very easy. First of all, one has to go to SV Road. On the SV Road, he can see Lokmanya Tilak Library. Behind the library, he can find Kala Vasan Society. Okay, you live in Kalavasanth Society. What is the number of your house? My house number is 102. Children, Arun has given a clear description of the way to locate his house. The entire description can be put down like this. House number 102 Kala Vasanth Society Behind Lokmanya Tilak Library SV Road Pune 4110003 This is Arun's address. Address? What does it mean? Well, an address gives us details of the location where a person lives and how to reach his house. For example, the postman delivers hundreds of letters. Do you know how he is able to distribute all the letters correctly? He does this with the help of the address. We use the name of the road or the lane and other important landmarks to say where our house or a place is located. A person living in a big city has to mention many things in his address. 
but a person living in a village need not mention many things in his address why teacher because a village is small when we say our address we say the location of our house we can also mention the location of our town taluka district and even our country for example house number 21 somnathpur puran taluka raigarh district maharashtra state india 4007020 children now we shall have some activities this is a book i place this on the table this is a compass box i place this next to the book on the table this is a pencil let me place this next to the compass box Raj look at these three objects and tell me which of them occupies more space and which of them occupies less space Madam the book occupies more space the compass box occupies less space and the pencil occupies the least space Very good Every object occupies certain space. You occupy certain space on the bench. Your school bag occupies certain space in the desk. Our school occupies certain space on the earth. A hamlet. A village. A taluka. A district. occupy certain space on the earth the state of maharashtra occupies certain space on the earth our country occupies certain space on the earth the surface space occupied by an object or a region is known as area The area occupied by an object or region may be small or large. It all depends on the size of that particular object or region. For example, a hamlet is small in size, but a village is larger than a hamlet. So, the area of a village is larger than the area of a hamlet a taluka is larger than a village a district is larger than a taluka a state is larger than a district a country is larger than a state teacher thank you for teaching us about distance location and area now i won't make a mistake while writing my address very good